Wait, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so my TikTok got someone fired. Actually, someone's racist behavior got themselves fired. My TikTok just brought light to the situation. Let me tell you the story. So, if you didn't see my TikTok, I guess I'll play it for you. That's my friend Izzy, he was discriminated against by Flair Airlines. If you're not racist and want to help me put a company on black, blow this up. We went to Banff, Alberta, we came from Toronto. On our way back home from Calgary Airport, Izzy's trying to check in and he's not allowed to do so. Why? Because the people at Flair Airlines, the most trash company in the world, completely refused him service. I don't care if they're cheap, mm -hmm. do not book with them. They're terrible. They canceled my, my friend's flight on the day of this trip, so he didn't come with us. And the people that were at the check-in counter were disrespectful and rude and racist. So Izzy's trying to check in. These are the two women that were helping him. They're yelling at him. They're denying him service. They will not help him at all. He was being respectful and polite. They were completely refusing service to him. Eventually, I intervened because I was frustrated. They yell at all of us, accuse Izzy of being drunk, even though he does not drink. It's completely against his religion. They call security on us. They threaten to not let us board the plane. They refuse us service. They yell at us. They cut us off. And then they randomly selected Izzy, the only Muslim, to have his bag searched. Flair Airlines, everybody. I guess you know the story now. I'm here to tell you about the aftermath because everything I said in the TikTok pretty much summarizes what happened. There's nothing really more to say than the TikTok. We were literally refused service and people next to us were getting served. White people next to us were getting served. Refused service, very weird. It was fellow POC, so, I mean, they weren't black, but they were, I don't know, maybe Indian, Pakistani, I'm not sure. Um, but it's just interesting because they probably get discriminated against, so you're like, wouldn't you not want to inflict that pain on others? Anyways, <clears throat> I post the TikTok and it goes viral. It's not as viral as it could have been. I hoped for it to get like 100K plus views, but I knew that it would get more views than like my cooking ones because my cooking ones hit like 100 views each. This one, a little better. So I look at Flair Airlines comment section and it is a wreck. They deleted the post because it had over 100 plus comments saying, it's the racism for me. It's the racist staff for me. It's the discrimination for me. <laughs> or like, you know, those like sparkle emoji comments that are super passive aggressive, love those. Pretty much their comment section was filled with that and they ended up deleting it. But in between the TikTok and the comments being flooded and it being deleted, I got an email. Hi Ashley, I'm investigating the incident in Calgary on Monday. I'd love to hear from you regarding your experience. Please call me via my cell at your earliest convenience. Kind regards. I probably shouldn't say his name. So pretty much, I call up the flare manager and he's just like, you know, I'm really sorry about what went down. Um, he didn't say it like that. But he apologized for the situation. He's very understanding, very cool. He was a nice guy. He was a fellow black person. He was also a Muslim. So he was very understanding to like racist people. And um, he was just trying to help us out and stuff. And I asked him about the status of the employees and they got their asses fired. I really just wish I could have been there to witness that. Like, I wish I could have seen their face when they played the TikTok for the employees and were like, do you remember these people? And I just like, what I would give to be in the manager's office at that time, because they had it coming. I do not feel sorry for them. It's very easy to be a nice person. It's very easy to not be racist. It's very easy to just do your job. And they didn't do any of that. I wonder if they look back at the incident and say, hmm, me not checking in one customer's bags was definitely worth getting fired. Two minutes of my work was definitely worth unemployment during a pandemic. I just wonder, I wonder how they feel and what they thought and did they expect this? I remember just thinking to myself when it happened, I was like, you fucked with the wrong person. You fucked with the wrong person. And now look, now look, now you don't have a job and I don't feel bad. Flair is working on rectifying the situation. However, the only thing I wanted was for them to be reprimanded because they were terrible people and they did not deserve to be working frontline. If you don't know how to treat a person, then don't work with people. Yeah, pretty much they got fired. And I don't know what's happening after that, but I just wanted to share that because why not? I know some people are curious, so this is just like a quick video. As for Flair compensating us for our traumatic experience with the airline, 
that's in the works right now. To be honest, I don't really know what we deserve. Having gone through that experience, I don't know what they're able to give us. That's all being settled with my friend and the manager that I just talked about. So whatever we get, it's cool with me. What mattered to me has been done, so I'm happy. But yeah, I got someone fired and I'm not gonna lie, 3% of me felt bad. I was like, what if they have kids, you know? What if they have kids? And I was like, uh, 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 uh. nope. It's way too easy to not be racist. So they had it coming. I don't feel sorry for them. Next time, they won't do that. They won't. They will just check the, they won't have a job at an airline. Whatever their next job is, they will learn to just do their job. Now there's a good chunk of people who don't have to go through that in Calgary airport again. Maybe some other reps are like that, but right now, I think that people will have a better experience thanks to me and my viral TikTok. By the way, having a TikTok go viral is the funniest thing because you watch it and there's nothing happening. There's no traction, there's no views, there's no comments, there's no nothing. Hours and hours and hours go by and there's nothing. And then bam, you get one comment and you're like, ooh, I'm popping, I got a comment, I'm famous. Then you get another one, and then you get another one. And then you close the app and you go to No Frills and you're picking up zucchini, trying to figure out if it's cucumber or zucchini. Check your phone to double check what zucchini looks like and all of a sudden your fucking TikTok's blown up and you're like, what is happening? It's the weirdest thing. So that's the story of how my TikTok got someone fired and I'd do it again. So try me and see what happens. I'm gonna go pick up my package now. I have gold hoops waiting for me at DHL. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, thanks for watching.